Hey, I'm Jonathan Seifer, and this is Sean, Ben, Sierra, Jordan. Our project is on hydroelectricity, and I'm giving it away to Jordan. Um, <clears throat> hydroelectricity is a fairly simple uh, to describe. Running waters make hydropower, which generates kinetic energy and produces electricity when harnessed correctly. Hydroelectricity is the most commonly used for form of renewable energy. Hydropower is responsible for 16% of the world's electricity consumption. By 2005, oh, and some quick statics, st statistics. By 2025, hydroelectric facilities will have provided over 1.4 million jobs also. Due to the lack of fossil fuels, it avoids 200 million, 200 million metric tons of carbon pollution a year in the U.S. alone. How it works. Most people know that using water for energy is a concept that exists and is an action, but most people don't know how it works. A good example would be windmills. Most Americans knows how know how these works. The wind blows, the turbine turns, and the kinetic energy from the turning is used to, is used and converted into electricity. The same thing happens with running water. The water runs down a water source and moves the wheel that is slightly submerged in the water. The kinetic energy then used in the same way is used in the same way and the wind energy energy is used. Hydroelectricity is by far better than fossil fuels, mostly because it will never run out. There, there will always be water. The water cycle leads, leads us to always have a steady supply of the stuff for energy. Not only do we need, not only do we know that fossil fuels will run out, we know it currently is. Also, most dams and water mills collect rainwater to continue the cycle, provide us with constant energy. Hydroelectricity is much cheaper than fossil fuels and is the most feasible from form of energy. Alright, mine is pros. Um, everyone knows that hydroelectricity is a legitimate source that can be put to action for, uh, as an alternative for fossil fuels. The currents which we harness energy from are given to us by nature and we can receive it without much interference at all. It is relatively cheap to keep maintained once you have the facility up and running, which you can't really say the same in regards for petroleum products. Some of the cons of hydroelectricity is it kills out the fish population and rises the water level, level greatly. Um, hydroelectric plants have to use certain materials and are kind of hard to build. And the last con is that it takes it has to have a lot of maintaining everyone it has to have um, a lot of maintaining but it's only everyone all right so uh hydroelectricity could be used in lincoln city uh whether or not you may know it uh lincoln city could be completely run on hydropower if we had the money to finance the construction of the dam we believe that this pl the best place to make the facility would be in devil's lake because it has a strong current that would be enough to run the turbines of the dam. And since Lincoln City is a fairly small town, the energy generated from the dam would be enough to run our, our whole place. This also means that the dam would be smaller and much easier to maintain than if we were a larger town. And since the lake is already there, it wouldn't destroy anyone's homes. Thank you. All right, let's hear it for them.